I have a little device that will maybe help you to save hundreds of dollars on mechanic. So before you go to the mechanic, at least you know what's going on. And what do you need for that, Melina? You need a professional OBD2 scanner in haste, OBDII code reader for auto car diagnostic. Yes, this will give you the code and let you know what's going on with your car. Oh, maybe you can do yourself the repair. And you know what? I but think it's not that it might help you. I am sure it will help well, you at least save you can... tons of money. No, and yeah. also, I think that it's good to know that it's compatible with most vehicles in the USA from 1996 and in Europe from 2000. Oh, but, oh you know, only from the 2000. Pretty interesting, yep. though. All right, let's begin now. How are we doing, everyone? This is Dario from Media Box CNT, and today we got this cool device that will save you, like I said before, hundreds of dollars at least. We know the story, so you say, oh, I went to a mechanic and told me this thing, and it was, mm -hmm. something, it was something else, you know. Never know. I like this one. This is a real professional. Now, I want to show you here, and then to, then we're going to go to the car. But you know what? Here we I have like a different the color and the case. Yeah, you like the case. <laughs> yeah, okay. It looks so, nice. comes with the case, so you get here. Your cable, right? The cable you're gonna be plugging in into the device and to your uh, computer on the, com on the car, right? And it comes with USB cable. And say, Dario, what I need a USB cable for? Well, this, if you download the software, you can print all the information or you can even upgrade the firmware. So I'll show you here and then we go in the car, right? And see how this thing works. Look, this. Uh, we can real nice. Oh, it has a plastic. It feels good and professional. I mean, this is not of those uh, little things. I'm going to power here because we're going to have a different view later on in the car. It becomes a little harder to show you some of the details here. So nice device. It will let you know what's going on in your car. At least you know everything. You know, before you got that famous yellow light and it says uh, service needed, right? And I wonder what it is. And sometimes it can be a sensor that costs you only $20 and you can replace it yourself. And you go to a mechanic, maybe they want three hundred, four hundred dollars when a sensor you can Especially just. Especially with sometimes the mechanics are uh, sometimes to me probably as a female, they assume you don't know what's going on with the car. Oh, so they will shut there is a lot of videos up there that people did that in purpose. Me, yeah, they actually do hidden cameras with that. So anyway, that's my story. Keep going. Yeah. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna go to the car and check that. And like I said, in some time uh, you got that yellow light, did you know what's going on? At least you, you know. All right, okay. Something cheaper will cost me hundreds of dollars to fix it, at least you know, you can prepare yourself. So come with me and we go to the car and we do that. But anyway, guys, if you want to get one of these uh, nice devices for your car, always all the information is right below in this video. Thank you. Okay. All right, so we're ready to test this device. First thing you need to do, make sure you put the cable here. Now, and if you read instructions, it's you have to plug this first before you start your engine. Now, in my car, is right there in the side. So every model, I guess it's different, so you have to look into it. But pretty simple in my case, I plug it in, and then I start the engine. All right, so when we plug it in, we got the main screen. So let me turn the car on. And pretty simple. We see the main screen as we show you in the previous video, right? We can navigate. But let's go now and I want to check my battery. So let's go battery. Press OK. It's going to read the information now. Actually, what happened is it's reading now the whole entire uh, system. Right now, see the battery is OK. 13.7 volts, and it said the battery is good. What happened, let me go back into the home. To start off in the beginning, what you gotta do is read the code. So you have to go here, and that screen right there, press OK, and it reads the diagnostics. See, when you are there, you can check those codes, and we can look if you got any storage, if you have none, no problems there. Takes a while, see, there is no code. If I put a code there, 
it's pretty simple you will have to I, I will like always did I will google on it see if you put a model number and see what the code is and they will give you the information because that's that's what you need like, like the, the code now here we can clean the code so we can clean it but remember you clean it and then if you have to go you have to go for an inspection you have to drive again 70 miles around we get live data out of the car And we can choose view or items. We can choose uh, graphic view. Let's choose graphic view. And we can do uh, we can do the cooling engine, and we can click whatever we want. And then we press this button. And now here it depends. Right now it's 168 Fahrenheit. Or we can put the RPM, whatever you want to choose. So we'll show you here. Let's exit to the to the main screen. Let's exit right there. Now, if I want to see uh, what else, we get the code. Oh, let me show you here. I want to see all the sensors are working perfect. I will go right. Oh, right over here. This one. It will give me the, all the green lights. You can be any part of the menu. Okay, for that. And if you see here, everything is green. That's it. Whatever it don't light up, it's because my car don't have that. And let me go back to the main screen. If I want to check the engine, and then go back there, click there. And you can see here the temperature. The idle, let me see, 168. It will give me a uh, all information the manifold the intake the temperature anything all the information of the car how much uh, gas the gas is using right now all the information you need for the car you know a lot of information goes beyond my knowledge but the most important thing for me is try to get um, and we can check the speed we can check the fuel in this one let me see I think the core that's the engine we can we can see the rpm okay right there engine rpm 7600 right there 1200 and it will check the speed so if you want to drive me you while know, you're driving this will give all the information so it's nice device easy to use as you said there the only thing you need to do once again just run run the code there read your code whatever code show you here you can look in the manual to give you the, what it means each code, but I will go easy, go to Google, search your code, put your model number of the car, and it's done. And beyond that, you know exactly what's wrong with your car. Um, so, a little device to get a lot of information out of your car. All right, thank you.